Mike show. Oh. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Mike? <laughs> um, you tell me, Judy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogoween. I have three special guests today, which is, well, Alex's not that special. You guys already know him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we have his brother, Mike, and his niece, Haley. which by the way, she has her own channel, so make sure to go subscribe. What is it? Oh, it's Haley Marie. Haley Marie. I'll post it down here below anyways. <laughs> so today, they're all gonna be talking about things that have happened to them. Uh, we're gonna start off with Haley, which she has a story from Queen Mary. Yeah. Right, all right. Okay. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> so it was like three years ago. Uh, we had went to the Queen Mary and we checked in and everything. We went to the room. It was like two in the morning and we got there and we we're talking and we we're gonna go out and explore and then I think the faucet had turned on, right? In the room? Yeah. 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 The faucet had turned on, and that was like kind of the first thing that we had noticed, like that happened. And then we left the room and we went. We weren't supposed to be like going out at that time because, like, the rules are really strict. So if, if you're being loud there, you can, like, you, I think you have three strikes and then you get kicked out because the walls are really thin. So we were like walking around at like, like 2:30 probably, and so we're walking down the hallway. And at the very end of the hallway, it's like a tourist place. Like you can't go there without like a what is it like a tourist tour guide? Yeah. Tour guide. Yeah, you can't go there without one of those people. So we still went because the door was open. So we were walking down the hallway, and we're with Bubba's friend Daniel and his girlfriend. And I think Daniel was in the front with you, right? Yeah, because you guys screamed. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so they were in front of us. Were they pushing you? Like, you go first. <laughs> so they were. For anyone that doesn't know, the Queen Mary is haunted. Oh, yeah. It's a haunted Definitely. hotel. It's a, it's a ship. It's a boat. From World War II, right? Was it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. sure. They used, to, they used to be a ship that would carry prisoners, I believe. Mm -hmm. Or like war, like soldiers and stuff, but a lot of people died on it. I think much of it, but. It went down. <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay, so at the end of the hall, there we didn't know what was at the end because we had never been there. But I guess once you go down the hallway into the door and you, you make a left, there's a nursery and everything and you're not supposed to be there. But a little girl in a white dress had popped out. Like she popped her head, like say this is the door frame, so she popped her head out <laughs> like that. And then I'm like, it looked like a mom of her like had another white dress on and she popped her head out over her. So, like when she popped her head out, Daniel and Mike screamed. Okay. <laughs> well, that, was, that was maybe you? No. Yeah, uh-uh. Sure. No. <laughs> they screamed and we all ran back. So, and then like, I think we got, we ran for like five seconds and then we stopped and we're like, okay, no, like let's go. So we went down to where the nursery is and we went, we went there and everything, all the lights were turned off because you can't be there without a tour guide. and. So since all the lights were turned off, we like didn't think anyone could be down there. We thought it was a ghost, which most likely was. And the only light that was turned on down there was a room to the nursery. And the door was closed, but you could see the light. Like it was turned on through under the door. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then um, we had just went and we explored the rest of the ship. And I think we got in trouble for being loud. Yeah, there were there was like workers and stuff there. No, that were just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of roam, roaming around the area. Yeah, so we walked around for like an hour maybe, and then we had went back to the room, and we talked about everything, and then we went to sleep. So the rooms there only have two like twin beds. So Mike got a bed, Bubba got a bed, and I was on the floor <laughs> with my friend Miriam, Daniel, and his friend Daniel, and then Daniel's girlfriend. And so it was my friend Miriam, me, Daniel's girlfriend, and then Daniel. So we had all went to sleep, and this is like, uh, this is probably was where I thought I was gonna die. So my friend Miriam, when she was asleep, I had woke up in the middle of the night. Oh, and then I heard knocking on like all the walls. Yeah. On all of them? Yeah, like on every wall there was knocking. And then Miriam started talking in her sleep. And she was like the one next to me. And I was like, oh, the one next to her. And I was so scared. 
And when she said the one next to me. Yeah, like if she, she was asking a question, Damn. I was like, oh. she was trying to be like this one right here. <laughs> Take her. Um, but yeah, she was like the one next to me, and I was like, oh heck no, I'm gonna die. She's gonna suffocate me with the pillow. Like she's gonna kill me. And then um, like no one was on the side of her. It was she was on the very edge. I mean, it could have been Bubba, but I doubt it because he was all the way on the bed. So. Um, yeah, she had started talking in her sleep, and then Daniel and his girlfriend had woke up like 10 minutes later to leave to come back to Bakersfield. And it was just me and her on the floor, and we all like slept through the night, and then we woke up. So that morning we went and did like, we all went and looked around the ship while we were exploring. Yeah, while we were allowed to, like more doors were open for us to go see at that time. But then there's a room on the second floor so we stayed on the second floor and on the second floor there's a room i think two feet two two something and then um so we stayed on that floor and that room is the most haunted room there so the guy who stayed in that room and was who died in that room had killed all of his family and i think more people so they locked him in that room to keep him from because they were sailing at the time yeah so they, they couldn't let him go. Yeah, so they locked him in that room and he ended up dying in that room. So they did not let nobody in that room. I think you could go in there with the with the, like the tour guide, but you were not allowed to go in there alone because of like all the stuff that has happened in that room. So in that like the door to that room is cut off. So there's a door, but in the middle it's like sectioned off, so there's two parts of the door. And we were trying to look through this, like, the cracks and everything, and we took a picture of the door, and like two creepy guys have passed by, right? What do they look like, janitors? I don't know. They look like they work there, but they look creepy. Like, really creepy. They're like, just staring, just like, and they just walked off without saying anything. Yeah, they just, uh, they're really creepy. If you guys get a chance, you should check out some images online, see more or less what the, the, the halls look like. It's, it's pretty crazy, I that. Mm hmm uh, you're actually allowed to stay in that room now. You can stay the night in that room. Yeah, yeah, you can stay the night in that room now. A lot of YouTubers like they go and do it. Okay, bring something back. <laughs> but I think you need like a like a permission or something, or I think you pay more or something to be able to stay in it. Probably pay more to die. Are we possessed? I know. Well, it's because they would rent that room out before, but a lot of people were getting haunted and stuff. So they stopped renting it out. Not renting it out, but like, yeah, well, letting people stay in. Yeah, I think they would like pull them at night. And yeah, so they closed it off, but now, like, because it became so famous, I think people are allowed to stay there. But for, like, I think <laughs> to be able to show it off, like, YouTubers, like she said. <laughs> Probably in the atmosphere. Because, oh, that ship's already haunted. Imagine staying Ooh. in that room. What are you doing? So we were taking pictures of the door and everything and the two creepy guys passed us. I think we had started to walk away from the door and the whole ship, all the electricity in the whole entire ship went out. So we were right next to that door and the electricity went out. So like it was a door and then a vending machine little area hallway and like the normal hallways. So we were like in the middle of the hall of the door and the vending machines. So everyone's screaming. I think the only ones who who took out their flash was who? Me and Bubba? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> everyone was deciding to just freak out instead of taking out their flash. I got night vision, I could see the dark. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And like it was uh, it was horrible. So we took out it was, our flash. It was pitch yeah, black. It was yeah. Because it was like since it is like a ship, it's just a straight hallway, no windows or anything. Mm -hmm. there. The only windows are in the rooms. So like there was no windows in the hallway, so once it blacked out, but black, like you couldn't see anything at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, so like it was dark all the way down the hall, but once we put on the flash, we had started walking down the hall, and then we're the running. door... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're running. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> yeah. we were trying to get out of there, because like there was like the, like, to get out of this, like, to go down the stairs was not that far from there. But once we were ready, we heard a door open, oh, and it scary. was yeah, it was a lady that had worked there, like two ladies that had worked there. Um, Honestly, I didn't know if I could trust it. It was weird. Yeah, it was it was weird that they had opened it right when we got to their door. 
So they opened the door and we were like, can we go in there with you guys? Because we're really scared. <laughs> and then, um, so we went into the room and I think one of you guys had started asking questions about them working there. And they said that like, mm. they do hear stuff and like, and they said that the lights had never gone out. Yeah, that's, that's the first time they'd ever gone out. Mm -hmm. Just happened to go out when we're uh, cruising the halls. Mm -hmm. Crazy. We're looking at that room. I think we irritated the, the, that killer. So that was so. Yeah, because we had been there the night before too. I think we were taking pictures of the door. So they were asking them if they like hear stuff while they're working, and they said that they do. They said like they'll hear like running or like tapping, knocking. But they'll put earphones in so that it doesn't get to them. I don't know how, like, I would not be able oh, to Oh, hell no, I feel like that's scarier. I know. Because, like, what if something's, like, happening behind you, someone's getting dragged and you don't even hear? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um... It's great, like, right there, too, a lot of people died because there's there's a stairway, the, the stairs on the sides, you know how they're on the sides of the mm -hmm. ship? Um, they're really steep. But like on the ocean, when the ship would be going, people would be walking down the stairs and like it would hit a wave and it would lift. So like the stairs would like literally be straight up while people are going down the stairs and people would like fall all the way and like fall on their head and like break, break their neck and die. And because you just walk, like if it was straight leveled, yeah, it'd be straight down and walk down the stairs. But like on a ship though, you get on the wave like that and the stairs are like that, it would be like that. So you're walking down, you just whoop, fly off and just mm -hmm. fall straight down. That. So a lot of people were dead right there too. Yeah. That's, so, that's so nice. I think I had looked up the little the little girl dead in there the next day. Yeah, but yeah, I said a lot of people will see the little girl and mm -hmm. stuff, and she's someone that died too. Mm -hmm. I think she was the daughter of the guy from room two B, because he killed his daughter and his wife. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. so creepy. Except then, they're, they're, they've been seen wandering the ship, mm -hmm. the lady and the little girl. Like in the white, old, it's a, it was an old dress, huh? Yeah, it was yeah. an like old dress, white like dress. Like one of those old school dresses. Like. It's weird, it's like when we've seen it, I don't know, it's like kind of like a double take on it. Like, do we go or do we just sit here? I know, we just kind of, once that happened, we just ran to it. But. You ran, actually. <laughs> when we followed no, no, no. the facts, you ran. Yeah. <laughs> we ran towards it. No. But uh, yeah, there's nothing there once we reached the, where it was at. Wait, you ran towards it? Yeah, check it out. For, we stuttered and we're just like... No, but I think we ran back. We went over there. We, we, ran, we ran backwards forward. a little bit and then we went forward. But they'd already been gone. Well, it's been a minute, so... Yeah. It got crazy. They'd already been gone. Oh, it was so creepy and it's just like, like the room where the nursery is. The stairs are just humongous, like long, creepy old stairs. It's just so weird there. I don't know. And like the vibes, like when you walk in, you can feel it. It's like so weird. And it's crazy because with the with the hallways, because it is a ship, and you know how it's like that. Mm -hmm. Like you know, in the hotel, you look down the hall, you can see all the way down to the other side. Yeah. But because it's a ship like that, like if you look from one side of the hall to the other side, like you'll only see it like dip down like that, and it'll disappear. Like you won't be able to see the other side of the hall. It's pretty crazy. It's Cool. There's like three rooms, like, like so it's the hallway and then it's the rooms. So there's like a room here, here, and here. So you're like right next to each other. So any noise you can hear. Yeah. And like when I was asleep, like you could feel like like pressure, like on you. It's like you could feel something <laughs> against you. Oh, it was horrible. That was weird. Is it why you're friend? Oh, heck no. Are you still friends with her? <laughs> I don't even talk to her anymore. No? Oh, no. okay. I wonder what. <laughs> so, the lights had all came back on, and then, like, we had started to leave and everything. And I think, like, that's, that's all that happened. We were just waiting outside, trying to figure out what to do. In the aftermath, though, there's hella, like, firefighters outside. Just oh, kind of, like, yeah. Trying to figure out the situation, everything, get, make sure, making sure everyone's safe and everything. There was no situation, there was a <laughs> demon. I was it daytime or yeah. yeah. And the thing it was like because there's no windows in the hallways at all inside the ship. It was like it was crazy. daytime, like super daytime. But it was pitch black in the hallway. We literally couldn't see anything. And yeah. there's a pool there and we like we wanted to go see it but they closed off the pool because people were getting drowned. Like when they would go swimming there. They wouldn't and the pool's big. Mm -hmm. They have two pools, no? Or yeah, yeah, they close both of them. Damn. 
That's crazy. Stuff. I've gone before, but I don't remember. I went like during Halloween though, and we oh. just went like through a couple mazes, and then they had mazes there. Yeah, because it was during Halloween time, but they had them outside, and then oh, we okay. only went to one inside. <laughs> and I was like, this is lame. I thought we were gonna be like indoors the whole time, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta go away. By you, give your, you give yourself a bigger scare, like if you just go like on a normal time, but like go explore like in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. like go like at two, three in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like just go, be go walk the hallways and like just <laughs> check it out. It's because everything's so quiet and then like, you'll hear noises. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, we, when we went, it was during Halloween time, so there was a bunch of people there. A bunch. Yeah. So even when we went mm. through the mazes, yeah. there was like, by the, we would hear someone scream, so we already know, you know, <laughs> someone, something's yeah. coming out. You hear someone right. scream, it's not a day, like in a random place. <laughs> so we'll be like, oh, yeah. A lot of people let's go. say it's not good during Halloween. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's, boring. It's, probably, it's just probably too packed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So what do you say, June, if you gotta go with us next time so you could have yeah, seen the yeah. blackout? <laughs> Damn, I just will go to that room and check it. Stay in that room. Stay in that room. Oh hell. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, you would if like all of us. I'll sleep outside the door. If all of us stay there. If all of us sleep outside. I don't know. It'll be like a bunch of us. I'm down there. Just I'm down if it's a bunch of us. Like, <laughs> at least we'll so we all know. Okay. Like ten of us. <laughs> what, what if one of us gets possessed? And then kill the other. It's not me. Yeah. <laughs> we better murder like, everyone. Yeah. Crosses. Dang. It locks the door. Bro- like, <laughs> Dang. Well, yeah, we should definitely go. <laughs> not during this time when it's like lonely or whatever. I'm Maybe down. we'll vlog it. Definitely. I don't know if there were his eyes all bad. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's gonna be it for this story time. I'm gonna do a part two because they have some stories to tell. Are you gonna be in it right now? Or are we gonna have to take it home? Get out of here, no, <laughs> You just want all the spotlight for yourself. Oh, you're so <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> Follow my YouTube channel. Oh, Michael single. <laughs> he is single, ready to mingle. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, Haley might see you on the next video. She might not. <laughs> we'll figure it out right now. But thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.